Hello and welcome to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Fallout 3. Oh, hey, what's up there? Hold on. Just saw something up there and looked interesting, that sign up there. Let's see if we can actually see it. Lend a hand to Uncle Sam. <laughs> Alright, well, we're chasing off. We're chasing off. We're chasing down um, that little pip in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, just because it's nearby, and we're almost, um, almost on our way to... Ooh, what's down there? Is it that? Is it that? Might be that. Uh, we're almost on our way to the Lincoln Memorial uh, and Rivet City and all that fun goodness. Rock Creek Caverns, huh? Huh. Interesting. Let's go check that out. Just had to switch weapons for a second there, but, uh, avoid all the hazardous stuff here. Nothing immediately dangerous. Doesn't mean it won't change. Mirelurk? Sounds like a Mirelurk. Yeah. Pretty sure it's right behind the door. Or right there. Get it in the face if you can. And vaporize it. I don't like my lurks. But apparently we could take it down if we hit their face. Or their meat. Do I care? I have room. Let's see what's going on here. Grenades. A little bit of guns here. Some first aid. I'm gonna leave downstairs for now, because that's probably leading to more Marlook stuff. The best loot, as you can expect, would not be in these first rooms here. And let's see what we get. Whoa, hello. Knocking stuff over. All right. I like this weapon. It actually helps out a lot. Lots of ammo. Don't have to reload it a lot. That's what gives it... Ooh. Nice. Uh, that's what gives it a little bit of boost over the uh, Goss rifle. That's what I like about it. And it seems to do a lot more damage than your standard laser rifle. Let's see if we can take this guy get down too. More action points would be nice. Definitely nice. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff on top of this whatever it is. And it's just sounded like there was some radiation things going on. Plunger sensor module. But there's actually nothing worthwhile looting up here. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Now, was I hearing some radiation? Or is that just my imagination? Might have been my imagination. Oh, no, there's the radiation. That's where that's coming from. Nothing really here. Moving on. And through this door. Oh! Hello. We're in the... Huh. wonder where we are. Let's see. I'm just going to poke my head back here. I don't think we can get back down there. Yeah, no, it's just going down, straight down into that hole. Possibly where the Myelux came out of. And... Do the face! Nicely done. Alright. Big old cavern down here. Lots of water. Lots of places for Marlux to uh, come over and drag us down into the depth. Oh, and Marlux King. If I remember correctly, shoot everything in the head. It works. Especially from when that's their uh, where their main weaponry comes from. Can I see anything down here? Or it's too shallow. Interesting. Old tires. Oh, well, 
Hello. Yeah, I killed your king. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. That's what you're gonna do about it. Oh, hello. And another one down. These Mario looks these days, they're not as uh, hard as they used to be. Especially when they present their face like that. Huh, surprised I didn't kill him in uh, that. And another king. Head crippled. He still has that freaky that. Ooh, and vaporized. Nice. Oh, level up. That's boosting up my barter and my medicine here. Uh, barter a good chunk, medicine a lot. Let's think of doing sneak because it does give us uh, extra critical attack, critical hit rather. So that could help out a lot. Um, let's just bump up Sneak for a little bit and continue. That keeps us a lot. Oh, we get a we get level 21 boost. Wow, we're level 21 already. I think that's above your standard um, Fallout 3 uh, levels. Fallout 3, I think, only went to 20. And it's only on the expansions that it went up to 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Animal Friend perk. Mostly because... Um, I'm just getting tired of fighting animals. Um, just... Yeah, let's just grab that. Um... And I'll help out a bit. We just won't be fighting Yao Guai and whatever mess in the wastelands. I hope that works on rat scorpions. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be pissed. This is someone's... campsite. Looks like they used to have a ladder somewhere. With their little stash of money. And fresh footprints. All over the ground. Maybe this is where they were hiding out from the uh, ravages of the waste. We have a drop down here. I'm just going to go over this way. Let's see if there's anything up this way. Before going back into the area that looks like it has water. Apparently my lurks are not animals. So they attack me. Ah, uh, he's ramming! When they charge like that, they're harder to hit. Definitely. Ew. <laughs> Should be cooked Meyer look meat there. Ramen corpses. Ant meat? Huh. Something was going on down here. Was it ants versus Mirelux? I am now holding more Mirelux meat than I ever have before, and I don't really know why. Just holding on to it seems to be oh, the right thing to do right now. Spend all my action points on killing the Mirelux King, because we can. Nice. And this Mirelux should be just like that. Nice. Good shot, too. Beautiful. Not seeing much in here, though. What's that? Whoa. Mole rat meat now. Huh. And you just hold your horses. Or mole rats. Come on. Last one. There we go. Too quiet. But if anyone wants any meat, <laughs> I'd definitely sell it to them. All types of critters. Except ramen. Dog meat. Some dog meat here. Oh, an actual fresh wastelander. Take their laser rifle.
Ooh, nice stuff, stealth boy. Bottle cap. Nice. So I guess these guys got dragged in here, as opposed to coming of their own... As opposed to coming of their own free will. And there's bodies all around this complex. Mercenary, huh? Hmm. I was thinking this was where we came in, but no, it is definitely not. Right away. A knight. And a couple bodies. Pre-war book, that's good. Oh. It's actually a small skeleton, that's sad. Alright. What else do we have? I think I explored all this complex except for this area here, so I'm gonna head over there and see what we see. Yeah, this is where I diverge from the main path. Or the main water area. Someone brought their sharpen carts down here. There's a bed. What else? Anything? And that's it. Oh. Okay, well, let's get back out onto the surface. There's an interesting little area here. Might be something up there. Huh. Alright. Well, we'll head back and see what we see. And I just realized we haven't fully explored this area and gone down here, which was just a small utility room. Alright. Let's get out of here. Enemy around the corner. Ooh. Big brutes. Super mutant masters with some Gatling guns. Not friendly. But, maybe I could just take them down from here before they get those things spun up. One down until I get my vats back. Yes. All I have to do is hurt them enough. Oh. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Oh, jeez, fighting. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm being double teamed, one by a raider. At least that stunned him for a second. And the other by super mutants. Those two are fighting each other in the background there. We did not quite expect that to happen. Let me just grab this guy's stuff. Don't care about the flamer, it's way too heavy for what it's worth. Compliment will do. Where are you going? Hey, buddy. That's my super mutant to kill. Oh, he killed my super mutant. Oh, well. Oh, well. Huh. Raiders came from that way. Might be a little bit of a loot cache there. Actually, they both had flamers. So what if we do this? Workman coverall to boost our repair skill. And then repair everything that we have. And it still doesn't even make it ten times. Alright, drop that. Minigun. I think we'll keep the minigun for now. Yeah, I remember this place. Didn't I kill lots of people here before? At Friendship Station? Raider! Oh, I'm wearing the Boromic suit. <laughs> uh, let's become more terrifying. And switch back to a Wazer Rifle. Ah, another Flamer? Holy hell. Well, that's what happens when you carry around explosive weaponry. Or flammable weaponry and you fight me. Uh, not good. Ow. I wish I could have shot that in midair. That would have been so cool. Even if it was through vats. You know, where's this other guy? Raider nests. Or I guess it was a girl. Oh. My cover is blocking my shot. Something's blocking my shot the hell? <laughs> you guys wouldn't have uh, restocked this place, would you? 
I don't think so, but... Yeah, I want a piece of you. That piece. Oh, maybe they did restock this place, or maybe I didn't loot it as well as I thought I did. It was dark, I don't know. Nope, not restocked. I just didn't loot it as well as I thought I did. Alright, we're heading through Friendship Heights. Friendship Station. Cleared this place out before and there's bodies left over, so I don't think we're going to have any problems right now. So I'm just going to run straight through this and come back if we uh, encounter anything. Huh. Alright, so I'm just running through this area, which is... where is this? I'm in Farragut Station, I think. Farragut West Station. And I've done this area, I know. Because I killed a whole bunch of these ghouls out here before. But I just opened that safe. Maybe I wasn't able to before? I don't know. Um, but I picked up... DCTA, Laser Firearms Protocol, from that safe. <laughs> Congratulations on receiving your new DCTA standard issue laser pistol. Please take a few minutes to go over the guidelines posted in the DCTA Employee Handbook Section 28.1.1.B and reprint it below for your convenience. And I picked up another laser pistol. Nice. And all of that was suggestive of just to shoot into there with a laser pistol to burn the, uh, to burn the ghouls way back when. So there might be a couple chests and stuff, whatnot, way, way back, uh, that we might want to investigate that we weren't able to open just because we didn't have the high enough lockpick skill or science skill or something like that. Um, not sure I'm going to do that. But for now, we'll continue exploring. Move along, please. Moving along. Oh, well, there's a combat going on. Super Mutant Masters versus a Raider. Interesting. I can pick a side to win on that. And it'd be my side. These guys are always on the other side there. Kind of annoying. They also have that weapon, which I don't like. And I don't think I'm in the right spot. And hey, Talon Company is heading over there. I'm okay with that. Because I hate those guys. Or no, he's coming for me. Don't know where his friends are. But he's human with no helmet. Don't think the super mutants have seen me yet. Let's keep them moving. Oh, jeez. I'm being shot at something I can barely see. Super Mutant Brutes, in the distance. Probably thinks I'm... These steel people. Oh, that was a nice shot. Uh, super dark here. Alright. I'm actually going to call the episode here. Uh, I've been running around through the sewers and through the metro and stuff like that, and I can't see. So I'm going to head back, and uh, we'll be back with you next time. Have a good day, and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.